There is so much information out there in the world that sometimes it's hard to know what to believe. With the advent of technology and the internet, it's even easier to spread falsities or to fall into the trap of falling for them. Here, we'll tell you the truth and show you the facts. We'll help you rid your mind of the crazy misconceptions that the world has taught you. This here is myths that you still believe. The Weight of Clouds now, you may find a lot of argument about clouds and their weight, with some saying that they're weightless and others trying to tell you that they weigh a lot. The truth is, neither of those is true. The fact is, clouds don't just weigh a lot, they weigh tons and tons and tons. To be more exact, the average cumulus cloud weighs right around 1.1 million pounds, which makes sense because they're made up of water. Have you ever realized how much a full jug of water weighs? To give you an idea of how much 1.1 million pounds is, think of it this way. 100 elephants Elephants weigh roughly 1.1 million pounds. Crazy, huh? Lightning never strikes the same place twice. You may have heard this through word of mouth or television or some other source, but the thing is, it's totally false. Lightning can strike again and again in the same spot. The bolts of electricity tend to take the shortest route they can to get to the ground. Did you know the Empire State Building gets struck by lightning around 23 times per year? The three significant skyscrapers in Chicago, Trump Tower, John Hancock, and Sears Tower, all get struck by lightning between 50 and 100 times per year. So yes, it does strike twice. Don't swim after eating. They say that if you swim right after you eat, you'll get severe cramps and that it'll cause you all kinds of problems. Well, we're here to tell you that that myth is false. Yes, digestion does redirect some of your body's blood to aid in the whole process. Yes, with less blood flow, that means less oxygen in your muscles, which could cause cramping. But the fact of the matter is that we have more than enough blood to keep all of our muscles working correctly after a big meal. Swimming directly after a big lunch might make you sick, especially if you go at it excessively and full bore. But there's no evidence to suggest that you're more likely to drown after ingesting some food. You only use 10% of your brain. Lies. We all experience times when we feel like we should understand something that we just don't, and then we wish we could use the other 90% of our brains, right? The myth is often referred to when people experience shortcomings in their mental abilities and wonder what would happen if they could use their entire brain. The myth can be tracked back to the 1990s, and it's thought that it came into popular belief because of people misunderstanding neurological research, and it's been perpetuated by the media. The truth is, we use all areas of our brain, although we may not use it to its fullest potential. The Blood Groove You know how there's a groove that often runs parallel down the blade of a knife or a sword? Those are often called blood grooves or blood gutters. But the thing is, they have nothing to do with blood at all. The myth is that those grooves were put there to drain blood after an instrument was used for, well, you know what. The actual term for the groove is a fuller, and fullers are put on to make the blade just a little bit lighter. Seriously, that's it. Adding a fuller is an opportunity to take out just enough metal to make a difference weight-wise, and, contrary to popular belief, it's not a blood thing. Heavy Old Plate Armor While we're on the topic of swords, we figured we'd mention something that's pretty closely related. It's believed that plate armor was cumbersome and greatly weighed down knights when they went into battle. The thing about that whole belief is that it's wholly untrue. Plate armor was specifically and meticulously designed, with the kingdom's soldier in mind. It was made of tempered steel and only weighed between 33 and 55 pounds. Sounds like a lot, but keep in mind that soldiers in Afghanistan and Iraq would carry packs of gear that weighed between 60 and 100 pounds. Blood is blue before it's bled. Now this one is a bit silly, mostly because we've all believed this at one point or another. No, blood is not blue when it's still inside your body. And no, it doesn't turn red after it mixes with oxygen in the air. Deoxygenated blood is really dark and doesn't yet have oxygen in it to help brighten it up. That's why it appears blue or even green in your veins. The dark red of the blood inside your body causes your veins to look blue when it's covered by your skin. What a myth. The Velociraptor looks like a Velociraptor. If you think that sounds weird, hold on. Velociraptors were real dinosaurs, don't get us wrong. But the way we think of them is not entirely correct. Hollywood has given us this image of these scary creatures, think Jurassic Park, and they got creative with it. Velociraptors in real life were around the size of a turkey and were less intelligent than how they were portrayed. Oh yeah, and they also had feathers and were more bird-like than they appear in the movies. They didn't look very reptilian at all and weren't nearly as terrifying as the movies made them seem. To be fair, we didn't discover that they were feathered until after Jurassic Park came out, but Spielberg did know that the animals depicted in the film were more like another dinosaur, the Deinonychus. 
However, they thought Velociraptor sounded cooler than Deinonychus. Now you know. You can't lie when given a truth serum. This one is a myth perpetuated by spy movies and Hollywood in general. While truth serums can aid in getting the truth out of someone by altering their mind, they don't, in fact, completely inhibit someone's ability to lie. Sodium thiopental, a form of truth serum, makes it harder to concentrate on performing tasks, and it's this breaking of concentration that makes it hard to lie. To lie, someone needs to be able to focus and think up their lies. Sodium thiopental can make that much, much harder. These serums don't enhance truth-telling, they just make lying harder, and they can be dangerous and even cause false memories down the line. Cracking your knuckles will give you arthritis. This is another myth parents like to perpetuate when their children develop a habit of popping their finger, back, neck, or other joints. But there's no truth to this at all. In fact, there have been no negative nor positive effects found from cracking your knuckles. What happens when you start cracking is you release gas bubbles that are sitting in the joints inside what's called synovial fluid, which doesn't sound too harmful at all. Saturn's rings are not solid. While you may not have been told sometime in the past that the rings that surround Saturn are solid masses floating out in space, that's just not true. The rings are made up of ice, rocks, and dust that has been accumulated from comets that have passed nearby, meteorite impacts, and from Saturn's gravitational pull drawing in material from its moons. The chunks of these materials can range from microscopic to some that are as big as houses. So while yes, they're made up of solid materials, they're not entirely solid themselves. Don't ever wake a sleepwalker. False. Somebody has probably told you this at some point in your life, or maybe you took the word of the movie Step Brothers, but this is not true. Sleepwalkers are more likely to hurt themselves while sleepwalking than they are when you wake them up. No, they're not going to have a heart attack. No, they won't get brain damage. And no, they're not going to go into shock. The only danger lies in the damage that they may or may not inflict on themselves or their waker upon being woken. But other than that, it's relatively safe. So, if you see them heading for the stairs, you may want to take your chances and give them a little shake. Dropping a penny from great heights will kill. This is another one of those things that your parents probably taught you to ensure that you didn't grow up to be a jerk. No, dropping a penny from way up high, like the Empire State Building, probably won't kill anyone. Although it could hurt them a little bit. We've also heard a rumor that if you did that, it could go through cars and even embed itself in the pavement. This, while an interesting and entertaining idea, isn't real life. If there were no air resistance to worry about, a penny falling from that high could get up to around 208 miles per hour. But as things stand now, with air resistance, the penny would probably flutter to the ground all wobbly like a leaf at a mere 25 miles per hour. Ostriches bury their heads. You were probably told this somewhere along the line, but no, they do not bury their heads in the sand and then believe that they're hidden from view. They do, however, dig shallow holes in the ground and make their nests there. You may see an ostrich peek its head into the ground, but it's not because it's trying to hide. They bury their eggs, and they check on them by sticking their head in the dirt multiple times a day. So, we guess this is partially true, but they don't bury them in an effort to hide. Seven dog years to one human year. We know that almost everyone has been told this and then have worked to convert and calculate their dog's age. Well, we're here to make you even sadder than you were when you figured out your five-year-old dog was actually 35. In reality, it depends on the breed of the dog you have and the time of their life you're measuring. Dogs mature much faster than us humans, and their first year is equivalent to 15 dog years. It shifts, and the distance grows faster some years and slower in others. Sometimes, our one year is equivalent to six in the dog world. Other years, our one year is equal to three or four dog years. It all depends on a number of different factors, but seven is not the universal number for converting. Question. We sure have seen a lot of myths that turned out to be not true. And hey, we still have one more to go. First, we'd like to ask you a quick question. What are some of the biggest myths or lies you've been told that turned out to be untrue? Did you buy into anything ridiculous at one point or another? Let us know down in the comments below. One. Flies only live for 24 hours. Now, you may be unhappy to hear this, but no, flies don't live for just 24 hours. Some may, and some may live even shorter depending on if you get them with the good old fly swatter. But when left to their own devices, they live longer. Mayflies typically only live for around 24 hours, but houseflies can live for weeks, sometimes even months. Fruit flies can live for 50 to 60 days, and in that time they can produce upwards of 500 babies. Horseflies can live up to 60 days, 
so it really does depend on the type of fly you're talking about. If this video helped you clarify any myths you thought were the truth, do us a favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo right here on this screen so that you never miss any of our excellent uploads. And be sure to give this next video a watch. We handpicked it just for you.